Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome to this insightful episode of our podcast series, where we delve into the profound teachings and stories hidden within Surah Mujadila. So we've been talking about different topics in this podcast that we do, which are all insightful. At this particular series, we'll have five parts. They are part of the Quranic uh, evaluation, and we're going to be talking about Surah Al-Majadala. And in this today's discussion, this particular episode, I would like to highlight some of the context behind the four pivotal questions that we will evaluate over the, past, over the next four discussions. And the purpose is to enhance our understanding of this powerful surah, but also inspire us to reflect on its relevance in our daily lives. Together, we will explore the various meanings and contexts of the word Najwa, examine the captivating story of the woman who came to the Prophet with her complaints, discussing the omnipresence of Allah and ponder on the relationship between Muslim unity in light of their allegiance to Allah and the Prophet. So join us in this enlightening journey as we uncover the wisdom and guidance within Surah Al-Mujadala. With each question we discuss, we will find ourselves more engaged and intrigued by the depth of knowledge and spirituality that lies beneath the surface of these verses. So don't miss out on this opportunity to deepen your connection with the Quran and enrich your understanding of Islam. Just to give some additional context and background, I asked these questions to Dr. Hatim, who I and many people around the world greatly respect for his understanding and knowledge of the Quran and Hadith and narrations. After reading Surah Mujadala and its translations while considering other research that I was doing in parallel, Each of the subsequent four parts are Dr. Hatim's answers to my questions. The answer, the reason I really delved into Surah Mujadala is very interesting. I want to share that with everyone. It is because of an explanation relating to the role of shaitan causing nightmares and the role of the shaitan named Adha, who causes these nightmares and how to counter them. And it's part of this playlist that we have for the satanic intrusions in human lives. And as part of that particular podcast, which you should see a link at some point, you will also understand many tools that Dr. Hatim has talked about, how to get rid of the nightmares while you see them. And I've used them personally and they immediately go away. So I would highly recommend you listen to that and follow the recommendations as part of this research we will be exploring as i mentioned four critical questions that provide insights into the meanings and stories behind the verses of this powerful surah surah al-mujadala the first question is about the meaning of the word najma which is mentioned multiple times in quran Uh, especially in Surah Al-Mujadala. We will discuss the various contexts of this term, exploring its significance when referring to the whispers of the shaitan during the nightmares and its meaning in the context of whisperings or speaking privately. The second question delves into the story of the woman who came to the Prophet complaining about something, and Allah listened to her complaint. We will examine the story in detail, discussing the identity of the woman and whether that person was related to a muhajir or an ansar and who was the wife or who was the husband of that particular woman. What was the problem? Furthermore, we will explore the implications and context of calling one's wife the mother. It is a very abnormal thing, but you will learn why that abnormal thing was practiced previously at the time of Jahiliya and what is the impact if someone does that today. It's a very important concept that all of us should know so that we don't make that mistake at any point without considering the consequences. The third question is our exploration of Surah Al-Majadila in regards with the presence of Allah. We will focus on the verses that mention Allah's presence when different number of people are gathered why were these specific numbers mentioned 
who was discussing what and what was happening when Allah mentioned these people. And we will also talk about how do we reconcile the concept of Allah's omnipresence with the idea of Allah being present all time and we shouldn't do anything without considering Allah. Last question, question number four, will investigate the connections between the enemies of Allah and the Prophet and how this relates to Shia Sunni and Shia and non-Shia Muslim unity. We will examine the verse that clearly states that the believers will not be friends with those who take Allah and his Prophet as enemies and explore its implications for Muslim unity and the relationship between Shia and Sunni Muslims. Join us in this enlightenment, in this podcast series as we dive deep into these crucial questions seeking to uncover the wisdom and guidance within Surah Al-Mujadala. Thank you. See you soon. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa